I cannot express what I felt inside for my granddaughter when I saw her when she was born. A grandmother's devastation and heartbreak pierced the night as people remembered 27-year-old Alyssa Tuckenau at the homeless encampment where she spent the last days of her life. She died of a suspected overdose on July 19th, just outside Regina City Hall. You know, I love my daughter, my granddaughter. I love them. Your families love you. Georgina Mace has pleaded with camp residents to listen to those who want to help them. Tuckenau's four children stood by, holding pictures of their young mother, while speakers and family spoke of Tuckenau's passion for people. It just showed everybody love, you know, and, and, and that's how my daughter was. You know, she was a kind person, even to her brothers, you know, praying for her brothers all the time and trying to look after them and trying to be the little mama. Big Knife says her daughter first began drinking at age 12. As the years went by, Tuckenau developed a serious drug addiction. While Big Knife was heartbroken to see her daughter living in the tent encampment, she was grateful for the kindness she received. You know, the, the support that they give not only me, but others around here, you know, that, that, that they're not alone, that I'm not alone, you know, that my daughter wasn't alone, you know, that gives me comfort. Tuckenau's family called for unity, for community and government to join together to find sustainable solutions to help those with addictions. We need to work with our heart, not policy or mind. Big Knife hopes some good will come out of the heartbreak. And I really hope that this is the start of something to help her friends and, you know, her, who became her family here. Despite numerous overdoses at City Hall, Tuckenau was the first person to die at the encampment. Laura Sharpaletti, CBC News, Regina.